We are what we think about most of the time. What are the thoughts that you are keeping in your head that is keeping you where you are right now? What is the conversation that you keep telling yourself that is just creating more of the same thing in your life right now? Hi, my name is Sheila Zito. I am a cancer survivor and I have gone through so many challenges in my life and I realized that I actually have created so much of what I went through. I did not understand those things back then. And I find it very interesting when, especially when I help people that are impacted by cancer, the conversation they had many times, cancer is in remission or the story is already over, but they keep with that cancer in their head over and over again, bringing it back. Like, oh, what if it comes back? Well, if you continue expecting it to happen, it will happen. Cancer needs a body to be, needs a host. You don't need cancer. So make a decision today that your story with this is over. You are done with it. You are healed. Your body has self-healing powers. So just let it do its work and help it with your mind. Bring it good thoughts. You start to imagine doing some guided visualization. Imagine when you are you know, drinking water, that this water is nourishing your body and hydrating and moisturizing and bringing health and all good things. Your cells are recreating itself, renewing itself. The blood is flowing, bringing health and well-being to your entire body, to all your organs, to anything you want. Believe, have faith even before you can see it, regardless the results, regardless what's coming back in the, in the, from the lab or what you're hearing the doctor saying, I want you to believe and help them do their job. Even if you have to go through some treatment or to something, I want you to do your part here. Seeing yourself healthy, the way you want to be. I want you to believe in life after cancer. I want you to see yourself already being there, doing the things you want to do. I want you to go do all the things that you always wanted to do. I want you to go back and embody that person that has dreams, that has a life after all this, that has desires, <clears throat> has goals, and things you want to do. Become that person. You started today, your new journey. You know, today is the youngest you will ever be. This is the beginning of a whole entire, completely new life. And it's up to you. Use your mind and your faith to give the right commands to your body in what to do in your body, we you just follow it through. Thank you for watching. God bless you. And just do your part because the universe is already conspiring for everything to happen once you make a decision. Thank you.